Hi, this has been with B4 Treasures, and we have turned off promoted listings for the last month in March. And now here we are April 1st, where we're going to analyze and see those results and see what changes we can make moving forward that's a good fit for our business and potentially yours. So thank you for subscribing to this channel and following along as we share our insights, our little business secrets, and hopefully it affects you and empowers you to do the same. Or if you just like to watch and how our business does as a small business owner, we'd love to have you join us too. So let's take a look and and see how our promoted listings turned off has affected our sales this last month. So here is our page. We're going to go to sell on eBay. You're going to see our behind the scenes here of our listings, but we're going to go to marketing and advertising dashboard. We have the advertising dashboard here and you can see they're warning us to turn everything on. But here are the results from last year where we had that many sales and that much fees. But let's go and now look at last month. So we're going to go here, oh, go all the way through, clear dates, there we go. Um, custom the last 31 days, there we go. And so turned off here on March 6th, and we have had 82% last seat sales um, from last time, this time last, last 30 days or last year even. And our fees are also removed, but was it, could we have spent an extra thousand to get 8,000 in that case? So that's not a great number. Let's look at our performance and sales here. Really what we're looking at is this number here. So where we had, after all the, the fees, um, $3,000, but let's look at last year last year at um, 9,000, but the selling costs were huge. So we have 4,982 um, this last month after all the fees. And this time, la last 30 days, we had 3,000. So we're about $1,000 less over the month, but our selling costs are greatly reduced as well. So what do we need to do here? I think it's a balance. That is what I'm gonna look at here. So going to the marketing and advertising dashboard, one of the things that we were probably doing wrong was having everything be promoted, even the day it was posted. And there are some wonderful items that are very rare that do not have to be promoted because it's one of the only things that are there. But what if there was a time length we could look at? And that was something I didn't think about or wasn't fully aware of before. And so looking at starting a new campaign, this is where it gets confusing. There's all these options. Come on, eBay may be too many, but let's look at promoted listing standard here. And there is now three more options. They're really putting, promoting the advanced, but I do not like that because you have to pay up front every time somebody clicks on something like 10 cents to even 50 cents per click. Crazy. And there's no guarantee that they're going to buy it. They're just clicking on it. So I think that's a dangerous game. The click because you instantly go through your budget really quick and you can spend a lot of money. The promo mode listing is nicest because they only take money after it's sold. So that is very, it's a lot safer, feels a lot safer because then you don't have money going away without any sales. You're getting the money. You're just getting less than you had if you hadn't used it. But would you have got the sale? if you hadn't used it? That was the big question. And I feel like there's truth to that. We do need to use it, some of it. But let's look at the simple versus automated and bulk. So the automated is what you're using because you think, oh, let's, let's be automated. The problem with that is that you can only base your rules on pricing categories and condition, nothing to do with time. So you instantly are going to have every new item in that category become a part of that campaign and be promoted at the percentage that you are setting. But if you go to simple, you will find you can actually control what comes in and what it doesn't by manually choosing which items go in. And this is the huge thing, days on site. By filtering that and looking at the one, the things that have been on the site the longest, filter down to the things that have been at the least. If I, let me just flip that here. So going through all the pages and not putting things in, like these are just added today, we can control what gets promoted. And so our theory is to only promote things that have been on the site for 60 days and do not 
add things until it's been on the site 60 days. That will require some daily or weekly adding things to this campaign, checking in manually doing that. But I think that gives me so so much assurance that we have done all we can in those first 60 days to promote it or sell it on eBay or other sites within those, that time frame. And if it hasn't, yeah, it's time to promote and look, look, go further. That makes more sense to me. So we're trying this balance. So this is what we're thinking. We start it today and then do the dynamic ad rate. So that is going to automatically adjust what percentage is taken based on how many other people in that category are also promoting it. You can just do a fixed rate and say, I'm going to do everything at a certain percentage. Um, but I feel like that is maybe hurting and helping in different categories, depending on the rate. So it could do, we thought about doing just like a 2%, a tiny little bit, but I think after experiencing what we did last month, we'll go back to this dynamic rate, let it change. And you can, incre you can say, I no, I do not want to spend more than this. That is true. But I also do not want to, you can also say I want it to go up or down a percentage. So this is saying if it's the, if the daily suggestion, which is here, is 11.6%, and that's going to be what it's setting at, I can also say, well, actually, I want to beat everybody else. I want to go 2% above everybody else and try to get, you know, seen a little bit more. That is something you can do. And I think that's not a bad idea. Um, to have that little bit of edge on your competition, but it's not fun. Like it's not fun to see how much is going to be taken out um, for these different ad rates that um, are available. But let's go ahead and suggest that flip this around and you can see how the percentage is going up um, according to these a, a daily um, rates. So this is saying 2% more is 15, 2% more. So you're going a little bit higher. So let's just go ahead and do um, 1% more than everybody else. And we're going to say uh, everything is included. However, we're only going to include items that are been on the site that long, um, a, a while. So we can select everything here and launch all those things. So I think it only does a hundred at a time. So yeah, we can actually display 500. That'll be a little faster to get to things that are there. Um, get up to 70% of maximum forecast impressions. What is this saying? A feature that helps you predict how likely your ad is being seen. <laughs> okay, so you're saying like, what if I do like this? Is it gonna increase? Oh my goodness, what a game. So if I say 25%, yeah, your estimated impression share, we're gonna get all of the sharing it's saying. So what is 2%? compared to 1% compared to off. My goodness, it's just doing a little bit of numbers um, game there. Wow. If I do a fixed rate, does it also apply? Let's try 7%. You get 50% of forecast as 7% and 70%. Well, let's go with that. Um, and then we have 50% of them showing at the days on site is up like that. More than 60 days on site. So we'll do 60 days when it becomes there. So then these are the items we'll include. We have 898. So a little over half of our store promoted, but not, not as much as I thought it would be. So that's great. It's a good place to start. So let us go ahead and click launch Your ads will appear in a few hours so I can in the future click add and come back in these items and add them nice that's what I'll be doing well, let's check out our listings page here so we have 596 eligible and this many promoted well this is gonna be an experiment let us know your feedback and your thoughts I appreciate you following along on this observation of having eBay promoted listings on or not. Apparently, you might have to. We're grateful for eBay and how it's been able to have a steady living. It's just hard to see those fees all the time. But if it gets the sales, we'll move forward. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And always remember, after all this number stuff, people before treasures. Have a great day.